योर क्वेश्चन इज ड्रॉ द डायग्राम शोइंग द क्वाड्रेंट इन विच द रोटेटिंग लाइन्स ओ पी लाइज ऑन ईच एंगल्स इंडिकेट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ रोटेशन एंड स्टेट एक्यूट एंगल दैट लाइन ओ पी मेक्स विथ एक्स एक्सिस नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस वॉट दे हैव टोल्ड सी दिस फर्स्ट दे हैव टोल्ड अस वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द डायग्राम दैट इज क्वाड्रेंट विच क्वाड्रेंट इन विच क्वाड्रेंट इट फॉल्स एंड द एंगल द लाइन इज ओ पी we have to indicate the direction that means it's a clockwise or a anti clockwise next and the state acute angle that lies op makes with x axis that means base angle so we have to draw the base angle also so what is the base angle so that we have to draw now you can see here they have given minus 150 degree so this minus indicates it's a clockwise it's a clockwise now we will draw the diagram so diagram is just like this this is your x axis and this is your y axis this is your o they have told us minus 150 Minus one fifty is where? That means we have to go clockwise, starting from x. That means from east. So if you go from here to here, it is minus ninety now. First is minus ninety. Next is minus one eighty. They have given minus one fifty. That means it will lie somewhat here. The so line will go. this is o and this will be your p so angle is like this from here to here this is minus 150 degree next they have told us to form a base angle the so base angle is what the shortest angle from x axis the shortest angle is what this is 150 that means remaining is this from here to here so this is what 30 degree so now we will write what clockwise and it falls under this is your first quadrant this is your second and this is your third and this will be your fourth so it falls under third quadrant the so quadrant is third and the base angle is 30 degree this you have to do it now you have seen 400 degree to so 400 degree that means it's a positive if it is a positive it is anti clockwise anti clockwise so now we will draw a diagram the diagram is x and y axis first we have to draw this is your x axis this is your y axis this is your o now they have told 400 degree we know that one complete rotation is what 360 degree so 360 plus 40 is 400 so now it will be here this is your p now so now how we will draw we have to draw like this starting with here 400 how we will draw starting you have to go for this anti clockwise so one rotation is 360 plus 40 and arrow will be here so this is anti clockwise so now the acute angle that means base angle is what this from here to here so this is 40 degree so likewise we have to do and next we have to tell us which quadrant so this is your first quadrant this is your second this comes your third and this comes your fourth 
तो नाउ ओपी लाइज इन फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट तो क्वाड्रेंट इज वन इज द फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट देन बेस एंगल इज वॉट फोर्टी डिग्री तो लाइक दिस वी हैव टू गो फॉर दैट नेक्स्ट सीरीज टू पाई बाई थ्री टू पाई बाई थ्री मीन्स वॉट पाई मीन्स वन एटी डिग्री तो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट तो यर यू कैन सी टू इंटू वन एटी डिग्री बाई थ्री तो जस्ट कट दिस एंड दिस दिस इज सिक्सटी डिग्री तो दैट इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री तो वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री इज पॉजिटिव यर तो इट विल गो फॉर एंटी क्लॉक वाइज एंटी क्लॉक वाइज नेक्स्ट नाउ वी विल ड्रॉ द डायग्राम तो दिस डायग्राम इज योर लाइक दिस This is your x-axis. This is your y-axis. This is your O. This is your first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Now one twenty. If you start from here, it is zero. Then it is ninety. And this is one eighty. So ninety plus thirty is one twenty degree. So that means it will lie here. So this will be your P. So now the angle is like this. Arrow will come here. So what is your base angle? So base angle is the shortest angle. That means this. So this is your one twenty degree. So remaining is what sixty degree. So like this we have to go for that. So now your quadrant is second quadrant, and the base angle is sixty degree. Okay, this angle we have not written. That is what? How much? Four hundred degree. So this total angle is four hundred degree. So like this we have to do it. 